Well, good morning. Welcome back to another episode of My So-Called Exennial Life. Um, this one wasn't planned. I had uh, something completely different in mind for the next episode. But unfortunately, we had the passing of um, Bob Saget. Uh, I gotta really say that it, um, you know, everything really does come into come in threes. You know, we just had the passing of uh, Betty White and, of course, uh, Sidney Poitier. Um, I mean, at least Sidney Poitier and Betty White were in their 90s, while uh, Bob Saget, I believe, was only like in his 60s. And that was quite a shocker, too. Um, and everything's still very fresh. What's going on? So, um, yeah, it was quite the shock. I'm like, oh, my God, Bob Saget. At first, you know, with the Internet, you could assume it's a death hoax. I don't know how many times Bon Jovi supposedly has died. Um, and he's still very much alive. They're constantly getting death hoax it's hoaxes. But when I started seeing uh, more legit news sources, then it's like, wow. I can't believe Danny Tanner is uh, dead. So I wanted to do an episode about remembering Full House, um, kind of on his honor. You know, obviously I did one with Betty White, and um, I really can't do anything with Sidney Poitier. I know he was an incredibly great actor and very important, but um, I've never seen any of his movies uh Leash that I can remember. I know he did some really good movies, and I really should go watch them. But so I have no memories of Sidney Poitier, except that I know he existed, and I know he was a great actor. But on the other hand, with Bob Saget, um, I did watch Full House. Well, uh, Full House was uh, released on uh, um, September 22nd, 1987, so I would have been eight at the time. And... Um, Ended in May twenty uh, May twenty third nineteen ninety five. It would have been sixteen. That's actually quite a while, actually. Um, yeah, eight seasons, and I remembered it being on for that long. And but I also remembered it just sort of just like ending. And you know, um, I actually think I actually don't believe I watched it in the later seasons, but I do remember it just ended. Um, and I do know that the last episode wasn't supposed to be like the last episode. So anyway, um, and it's uh, so it starred many people. And the basic concept is Bob Saget's character, Danny Tanner, uh, his wife dies and the wife is mentioned a few times in the show, like maybe like maybe two or three times that he's mentioned. And he's um, brother-in-law, Jesse, who was played by uh, John Stamos and yes, Joey um, and um, Bob, um, and his best friend, uh, Joey. Gotta love cats. Joey, who was played by Dave Coulier. So, and so the daughters are uh, Candace Cameron played DJ Tanner. Uh, Jody Sweeten, whom, um, whose name I might be mispronouncing, so forgive me. Uh, Stephanie, but the most famous of them one all was Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen playing Michelle. Um, I think uh, the, one of the big breakout stars in the show was Michelle. Um, you know, a lot of people thought they were just so cute and everything. And look how they are now today. I think they're still, they're kind of out of the limelight, but uh, they're, they, I think they still do a lot in fashion, you know. Uh, when they did the um, reboot, uh, remake, whatever, well, continuation really, Fuller House, um, Michelle was mentioned, but the, the Olsen twins never once appeared on it, which I guess was their decision. Um, so, you know, I do have a lot of memories of this show. But one of the things I'm kind of remembering and even looking back at it, um, it wasn't a very funny show. It wasn't funny at all. I, I don't remember it being funny. Um, it's not like when I think about the Golden Girls. Remember when the last episode I can I mentioned, I had like numerous clips and it was so hard just to choose just a few because it was so many funny lines and so many cool things um, with that show. Full, Full House wasn't like that. Um, even Fuller House was really not funny. Um, it could have been just the way the writing was and the wholesomeness and everything. Because I, from what I understand with Bob Saget, Bob Saget was um, very much an R-rated comedian. And he had to play like more uh, wholesome. Um, so my cat is just an attention whore today. Uh, maybe because it's so early in the morning. I don't know. Um, so, but there is one. I'm going to show this one clip that was funny. Um, the baby beluga scene. Um, it's the only one that I remembered even now, because it's been a while since I've seen older episodes. That It's the only one that I actually remember it being funny. So um, here's a clip. Hey, 
everybody. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. Hi, Joe. Guess what, Michelle? I got you a tape of children's songs by Raffi. Thank you. What are the Raffi? Well, he's the guy who sings Baby Beluga. Oh, I used to love that song. Dad, remember our dance? Come on, let's show Michelle. Oh, this will be fun. I'll just put it here in your little baby boom box. Okay, Joey, rock and roll. Baby beluga in the deep blue sea. You swim so wild and you swim so free. Heaven above and the sea below. And a little white whale on the go. Two, three, four. Baby beluga. Baby Baby Beluga Dancers, I'm drinking Moo Juice. When did my life become a G-rated movie? So, like I said, I don't... Unfortunately, the show just wasn't really that funny. There was some mem There's a lot of memorable lines in it, I will say. You know, uh, Jesse's was like, you know, oh, have mercy. And his obsession with Elvis. Um, you know, you had Stephanie being, uh, you know, how rude... And Michelle was like, you know, you're in big, you're in big trouble, Mister, and stuff like that. Remember, they had like cute lines in it, kind of like different strokes. You know, what are you talking about, Willis? Um, that's the only thing that is kind of memorable in it. Um, and and much like all sitcoms back then, um, they had this the special, the very special episode. I do remember one where DJ all of a sudden had an eating disorder that was completely fixed within 20 minutes, you know, because that's how life works, you know. If you have, like, major issues, it's it's all done after a talk with your dad. It would be nice if that was true, but we all know that's not true at all. You've been skipping breakfast and dinner, too. I'm not an expert on this, but shouldn't a person eat? <laughs> uh, you're right, Steph. I'll eat my sandwich. You promise? I promise. Much better. Now get yourself an apple and a glass of milk, and your basic food groups are covered. Come here, Comet, look what I have for you. People food. No, come here. You're lucky. Dogs don't have to wear bathing suits. Here's my cat. You know, since we don't have much to talk about with my memories of Full House, let's just see my beautiful little kitty. He, and he's furry and he's heavy. So here you go, baby. So I got guinea pigs in the background. I got another guinea pig now. I got two of them now. And I got a cat. So I'm just, um, I don't need kids. Kids are a pain in the ass anyway. I rather have animals. Um, I did see the episode, many of the episodes, and I even watched a lot of Full Ho Fuller House, which was also really not that funny, but I, it was nice seeing uh, most of the um, actors and actresses making a comeback, and many of them look good. John Stamos looks great. Candace Cameron looked great. I, well, Can Candace Cameron's close to my age. I think she might be a couple years older than me, and I kind of wish I looked good as her. <laughs> You know, um, or when I reach John Stamos's age, I really hope I look good as as he does. I'll probably end up looking more like uh, Dave Collier or whatever is how he pronounce his name. Probably like average or whatever. But um, so it is kind of like sad. Another icon from the Xennial Gen X is now gone. Uh, I mean, that's just the way life is. I mean, when I remember Michael Jackson and uh, Prince and. Um, various other musicians, uh, one of the Van Halens and stuff like that, you know, it's like it's such tragedy. Um, it's just, it's more like, it's just like, again, it's indicating, hey, you know, your kind of, your, your time is coming too. <laughs> it's all so fun. I liked, I remember what I, I enjoyed watching full house, but it wasn't a funny show. It really wasn't. Um, the characters were likable. It had memorable lines in it and it was, it is kind of like, now when you watch it, just like with Fuller House, there's a lot of like good cheese factor in it. Um, it. It was very cheesy, which is why I think people like me and others like my age like it because it was corny and cheesy and wholesome and safe and stuff. Now it's like, now we have Game of Thrones and The Walking Dead where people die horribly. There before it was more like, 
you have a problem. It's all solved in two, in 20 minutes. But um, yeah, unlike the Golden Girls, it didn't hold up as well uh, as some uh, many other shows did or haven't. Um, I will say a lot of shows from the 80s, uh, especially sitcoms, do not hold up well. The humor is just not there. Um, there are some exceptions, but most most of them, whether it's the Hogan family and Perfect Strangers, they just uh, they're still fun to watch. But the humor is like you're not gonna laugh. You're really not. Like I said, there's that one clip I showed that is like the only one that I remember being remotely funny. I hope uh, like and subscribe, and um, I'll be looking forward to making another episode. And uh, anyway, have a great uh, great January. It's freezing. I'm freezing my ass up here in Rhode Island. So take care.